Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We got a big day today. Very exciting episode. This is the great guitar build off update that you've been waiting for. That's right. In today's video, we're going to do an update, a proper update. We're going to talk about the guitar. I'm going to show you guys the progress so far, and we're going to talk about what's going to happen going forward, what kind of videos you're going to see on it, that sort of thing. We're not going to, we're not going to give it all away but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about most of it. Now, a couple quick things just before I show it to you. Uh, one, this is, this is an update, it's show and tell, it's not a build video. So if you're gonna come on here and say, too much talking, not enough building, get out. And second, yeah, all the build videos will be coming up. We're gonna talk about that later in this video. But for starters, let's show you the guitar. If you've been following the YouTube channel, you know what the headstock looks like now. A Little bit of shaping work left to do on that, but not much. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen the drawn out shape of the guitar body itself. Uh, so yeah, you've probably got an idea. Let's show you how it looks. All right, first things first, headstock. That's what we ended up with. We're gonna put my logo here. I'm still, I gotta check the, the shapes. I'm either gonna do the Ango Guitars logo, the AG, which you've all seen. Probably not though, I've got one for Ango itself, the full word, so that might go there instead. And I'm thinking I will laser burn that in. I've had a few people suggest branding it, uh, making a brand and, and doing it that way, but I can laser burn it, so why would, I, why would I make a brand? Anywho, that's how this is looking. We're gonna have to do all the fret work and everything on this one. It does look pretty good though. It looks pretty good right out of the box, I'm not gonna lie. So, that's that. Now for the part that took some more work, here is the guitar body. We'll give you a, a closer look at it, um, but that is the general shape that we're working on so far. I can't really show you the back because uh, there's a bit of a surprise going on there. It's just a small one, but I don't want to give away anything about my finish. So can't really show you the back, but what I can show you is kind of what kind of curve we're, curve we're looking at there. Pretty gentle, nothing too crazy on the belly curve, but comfortable. Let's get a closer look at some of the, some of the aspects of this. We'll jump into kind of like a B-roll style look at this after with some detail, but for now, so we've got our carve here, nice comfortable arm carve with a chamfer, a bevel right there. Bevel comes into a sharp edge and continues all the way up, and it's pretty uniform throughout there. Continues to here, stops right there, and that's just a sharp edge. I might, I'll, I'll ease that a little bit, but I'm not gonna do much with that. That, I want to stay that way. Then we've got another bevel commencing here, give you easier hand access. Uh, that one tapers off, obviously, and comes around the corner. That's where our beveling ends. The rest is just a small round over, okay? And the back is mostly a small round over with the exception of that belly carve and a bevel on the back of our cutaway for uniformity. And then we've got this part kind of curved out it's fairly gentle. I don't think I'm gonna go much further with that. I had considered making it a deeper carve, but I'm actually quite happy with how it looks. Uh, before you ask, and I know some of you will, I'm not gonna give away the finish on this one, but what I will say is we're not doing an opaque finish, okay? I'm not coming in and like painting this with a blue sparkle or something like that. That is not happening. Now we've already gone in and drilled our access for the electronics, that's right. It did not come with that. And no, I did not forget like, <laughs> like on that Ultimate SG build because on that one, I thought it would come with it. This one, I wasn't sure, so I checked. Got access out to the control cavity as well. Only three controls on this one and I am happy with that. That's not gonna be an issue. I'm still trying to decide whether to use a ferrule block or just individual ferrules on this. We'll see, I'm not sure. Now, one thing that seems to have caused several of you a little bit of stress and maybe that's not really the word, but there was some skepticism and there, there might still be, is the neck joint. So you can see the way that I've cut this, there's not a ton here. It's less than, certainly less than a fender. Uh, and I've already indicated, much less than a fender in fact, and I've already indicated that I don't plan to do a glue in. You could do a glue in pretty safely with this, um, but I plan to do a bolt on. So I'm gonna be doing that a little bit differently than you're used to seeing. Let's do a quick compare here. See the difference in the amount of space? You know, it's not, it's not way out there. They're reasonably similar, 
but we're definitely missing that fourth screw spot if nothing else, right? So I've had a few people essentially ask me, how do you plan to deal with that? What are you gonna do? I think they might be worried that, uh, that the neck's not gonna stay in. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is a separate video on that. As we go through this process, we've talked about uh, whether I should do kind of a cinematic thing or a more typical voiceover, even though it's not so much a tutorial per se. Well, the answer is both. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna have a little bit of cinematic sequencing in there and I'm gonna do a voiceover. And we'll have a video probably on the shaping work for the guitar predominantly. We'll have a video on most of the finishing work and we'll have a video on the assembly and testing, hopefully. Might end up being more videos than that, but I, you know, that's kind of the, the initial plan. But I will do a separate video on connecting the neck the way that I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'm not gonna give that away just yet, but that'll probably come out before the rest. So guys, that's the update. You can see how far along I am in the build. Uh, based on my scheduling, this video is being filmed shortly before it's posted, so that's kind of where I'm at now. I know there are a couple of people who are probably ahead of me. I assume a couple are also behind. Uh, we're looking at, what, about a month left before the, the final videos are supposed to be posted. So the plan is, I think, September 4th for that. So depending on what people are doing, you know, you kind of have lots of time. But if you're doing like a lacquer finish, well, you're out of time. It needs to be done now. So, <laughs> yeah. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Haven't heard much from anybody on what they're doing except you know, the, the guys at Texas Toast who have said, we're not telling you uh, to everybody. And Dan at Guns and Guitars who has shown us a guitar kit with no pickup cavities. And finally, uh, Derek from Big D who's making a Telecaster. He knows his way around those no problem, so I assume that he's well on his way. But I figured it was time to stop keeping mine a secret so that you guys have actually a view of what's going on. So there it is, new unique shape uh, that I designed for this one. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the whole process because I am going to be making actual build videos. Don't worry. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Go tell the guys over at Wonder Bread Guitars that my design is cooler than theirs. And yeah, stay tuned because the rest of this series is gonna be coming out sooner than you think. As always, hope you liked it. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.